Hello students, welcome to Top Scholars. Students, today we are going to discuss about an interesting topic and that is brief introduction of sources of direct current that is cells and accumulators. So students, let's start with your first topic that is sources of direct current. Now, what is exactly when you will consider here, this is a battery connected to a bulb. As the wire is connected to the battery, the bulb glows. When it is disconnected, the glowing of the bulb stops. So basically what happens, the cells are the sources of direct current. We can use them for lighting up the bulb. Now, when you will consider a direct current, the current flows from a positive terminal to the negative terminal through the bulb. And there is one more important thing about the direct current. The direct current always has a constant magnitude with only one direction. Like when you will consider the alternating current, it changes its direction again and again. Whereas in direct current, the direction remains the constant and the magnitude also remains the constant. Now students, let's see exactly how a cell works. So basically when you will consider a cell, the chemical energy changes into electrical energy when it sends you a current in a circuit. Now cells basically consist of a vessel which has two conducting rods that is the electrodes or you can also call it as the anode and the cathode and these electrodes are dipped in an electrolyte solution most probably it's an acid so exactly electrolyte yes so this is your nothing but electrolyte so these two cathodes and anodes are dipped in electrolyte now let's talk about the primary cell now what do you understand by a primary cell the primary cell are the cell which does not has an irreversible chemical reaction. For example, when you will consider a battery, these cells can be used only once and when they are used properly, that is the chemical energy is converted into electrical energy, they cannot be recycled. Such cells are direct cell. Here it is an example of a direct cell. When you will see here, there is nothing but the ammonium chloride paste. And the second one is the manganese dioxide, that is your charcoal. Okay, and then if you'll talk the anode and the cathode. Now exactly this anode is nothing but your carbon rod. And the manganese dioxide behaves as a cathode. Now everything is kept in a container that is mostly a zinc container. So this is nothing but your overall view. We usually observe these type of cells. So these are nothing but the primary cell. Now why they are called as the primary cells? Because once they are used, they cannot be recharged or reused again. We have to throw them away. That is the only reason they are called as the primary cells. To learn more about this topic, download Top Scholars app.